So I have to tell you, I showed up in the weirdest place last night. It was almost like a dream. I was on TV talking about Shirley Sherrod and that phony reverse racism story and Fox News, except I was on Fox News. I was on the O'Reilly Factor. It was very spooky. This is what Fox News does. This is how they are different from other news organizations. Just like the fake acorn controversy, Fox News knows that it has a role in this dance. That's not new. That's not actually even interesting about this scandal. Fox does what Fox does. Which is kick your network's butt every single night, madam. And you have to be kidding with this fake acorn scandal stuff. Unbelievable. Do you live in this country? If by this country you mean, is my office right across the street from yours? Yes. Unless there's an unguarded border down the middle lane of 6th Avenue. Yes, I live in what you call this country. And, and, and no, though I sometimes kid, I'm not kidding. Uh, as Mr. O'Reilly asks, when I say that Fox News manufactured the outrage over Acorn as surely as they manufactured the outrage over Shirley Sherrod by playing over and over and over again the same very selectively edited tape that made it look like night was day and up was down. In the case of Acorn, it was a tape designed to make it look like an outlandishly dressed pimp got advice from Acorn workers about his underage brothel. In fact, the activist slash entrapment guy wasn't dressed as an outlandish pimp. He did not get advice on his fake brothel. And in fact, what Fox said was him getting advice on his fake brothel was actually tape showing an Acorn guy collecting information on the alleged fake brothel to turn it over to the police. And you can trust me that I'm not kidding because Acorn has been exonerated by prosecutors in New York City and by the Attorney General of California and by the U.S. Government Accountability Office. Not that you've heard any of that reported on Fox. But let's get back to the really important part of Mr. O'Reilly's show last night, his message to Madam, by which he means me, which in itself is so awesome I can't believe it. Fox does what Fox does. Which is kick your network's butt every single night, Madam. Now here, Mr. O'Reilly has a point. Mr. O'Reilly, you and Fox get great ratings. It is so awesome how great your ratings are. You have very big ratings, monsieur. Here's the scorecard from last night. It is in uh, TV ratings speak, but I think it'll be clear enough. Uh, here's Mr. O'Reilly and the O'Reilly factor. That 757 would be him at 8 o'clock, and that 245 would be me at 9 o'clock, different hour, but, you know, same point. And don't tell Susan's mom, who's very sensitive about these things, but we are actually, this show is actually outrated by all kinds of shows. Deadliest Catch kills us head to head. That's about fishing, which makes me think sometimes we should run more photos like this on our show. Uh, we also get killed by a show called The Closer, about which I know nothing except that it also kills us in the ratings. We also get smaller ratings than WWE Wrestling, which is apparently on the USA Network, which means it's a corporate cousin of ours, so goody for the shareholders, even if it's not goody for us. Of course, all of those shows also kill Mr. O'Reilly's show in the ratings, as well as everything else on Fox, as do SpongeBob, reruns of NCIS, and Hannah Montana Forever, which is totally understandable. They are much more watched than the O'Reilly factor, my lord, which is totally immaterial to the discussion at hand. Because when you got all kick your network's butt and madame on me, uh, you weren't really trying to tout your network's ratings. You were trying to take the attention off me saying that your network, Fox News, continually crusades on flagrantly bogus stories designed to make white Americans fear black Americans, which Fox News most certainly does for a political purpose, even if it upends the lives of individuals like Shirley Sherrod, even as it frays the fabric of the nation, and even as it makes the American dream more of a dream and less of a promise. You can insult us all you want about television ratings, Mr. O'Reilly, and you'll be right that yours are bigger for now and maybe forever. You are the undisputed champion. But even if no one watches us at all, except for my mom and my girlfriend and people who forgot to turn off the TV after Keith, you are still wrong on what really matters. And that would be the facts, Your Highness.